Hey everybody, so I'm over here uh, with my bowl TV and I thought I would do something that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's a little bit more insight into the Bolt um, EV and I don't think I've seen anybody do anything like this before. But, uh, you know, when you have body work done on older vehicles because their, their body panels are all uh, steel, it, you you do something called a magnet test to check and see if, say, the the car has undergone some sort of a bondo. And uh, so, you know, here's, I, I wrap these so they're easier to see, um, but they're basically just, they're just magnets. They're not a neodymium magnets or anything of that nature, but they're still strong enough. And, uh, you know, I wrap them in a little bit of orange duct tape just so they're more visible. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the body paneling on the Bolt TV is supposed to be aluminum because, uh, you know, aluminum is lighter and it's a, a way of uh, cutting weight. But aluminum is also more expensive than steel, so it uh, it's also more difficult to, uh, to repair and it's more expensive to make. So here's the, you know, the, the rear hatch. We know that, right? It's aluminum magnets don't stick to it just as a control you can uh, test something that that you know is is maybe steel so you can come down here like these are lug nuts are, are going to be steel these will stick to it and but yeah so i have have a two magnet here as well and it it sticks just like normal but the rims are aluminum right so it won't stick but what i found that's very interesting is this back quarter panel. These are metal uh, and they're steel. So this, this can't be just the frame. These are actually steel. And uh, of course you go to the door panel, door panel, nothing's gonna hold on to it because these door panels are aluminum. You go forward, same thing with the front door panels. And then of course you come around the front, the hood, another example of, and it's not, It'll lay on the hood, right? But they're not, it's not like they're sticking, right? So the hood is aluminum as well. This portion is not. Now, there is a distinct possibility that it's sticking to the frame underneath, but I don't think so. I think these are all just uh, solid panels. You can hear the difference in just the tone of the metal. But what I found most interesting is they the roof is also steel. So I'm not doing this to say any sort of judgment because again this is something where Uh, this is something where, you know, it's you're trying to balance cost and you're trying to balance uh, uh, weight. But what it does mean is the Bolt EV still has some opportunities uh, to improve, right? In terms of uh, especially weight, uh, center of gravity, things like that would all be improved by um, adding even more aluminum. And so there's a possibility to reduce the weight even more. Now, the thing is, if you look just at these panels, these panels, the, the roof panel, um, you, you, going aluminum, you're, you're only really looking at, at saving, you know, maybe 10, 15 pounds at most across the whole car. But, you know, that's 10 or 15 pounds. That's quite significant. Uh, another area where, you know, they went cheaper. Again, these are the Cruise Eco rims that I put on and that's because these are about 18 pounds, where the stock rims are about 23. 
And uh, again, they're both aluminum, but these, these are forged aluminum versus the cast aluminum. So uh, again, the Bolt EV has, you know, some opportunities uh, in terms of lowering the overall weight still. And uh, right now the center of gravity on this car is uh, 20.7 inches. So that's, uh, you know, that's relatively low. Uh, but if you were to do something like a, an aluminum roof and aluminum panels up here, reduce another 10, 15 pounds off the overall weight of the vehicle, you'd actually probably lower um, the center of gravity height even more. So I just thought that was interesting. And then again, for those of you who don't know, um, glass is uh, not magnetic. So, but, uh, but apparently door sills are. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I just thought that was interesting. I figured I would do a magnet test with the uh, with the Bolt EV just to show that, and it also means that this ding that I got from a, a rock that hit fairly hard, um, this is a, this is sheet metal, so it might be easier to repair if, if this is too badly dented. Um, and it is something that I would need to watch for potential rust as well. So anyway, I hope you guys found that as interesting as I did uh, doing a, doing a little magnet test on the body panels.